Chen Chun Man and his partner, both of whom wished to intrude into the other's area through this bridge while hoping to stop the other's intrusion. The force exerted by both partners is a kind of elastic force, just like two springs being placed end to end and compressed. If one becomes weaker in force or retreats, the other one will stretch out and occupy the other's space until the whole arm is at full stretch. The faster the force of one partner disappears, the faster the arm of the other one thrusts forward. This conforms with the concept of the Wing Chun system. Stay with what comes, follow through as it retreats, and thrust forward as our hand is freed. Because there is such a characteristic in the Wing Chun system, we do not have the so-called Sam Sing blocking exercise as the other Kung Fu systems do. The double arm Chi Sao is a more advanced course of training. The first exercise is the Pun Sao. The Pun Sao exercise, literally meaning rolling arms exercise, is an exercise not only offering us training in coordination of our two arms, but also giving us practice in correlation with the arms of our partner. Gorsao is a fighting practice in the double arm Chi Sao training. In the Gorsao exercise, two partners learn how to use what they have acquired to attack or defend, while all offense movements are unknown to each other. Therefore, real fighting practice is being achieved when both partners accelerate the speed of their movements in their exercise. The first movement of Gorsao is to coordinate the erect palm and step to attack the opponent. Cheng, feeling the force of his opponent's arm, turns his Fuk Sao to the Jum Sao with coordination of the turning stance, while changing his Bong Sao to launch a punch at Leung. Leung feels the down-pressing force of Cheng, poses the Bong Sao and Wu Sao to protect himself. When Cheng launches attack, Leung retreats a step to nullify the punching force. This is the Lap Sao movement. Leung first applies the Fuk Sao to press down Cheng's punching arm and immediately after that turns his Bong Sao to a punching arm to launch a counter-attack at Cheng. Cheng also applies the Lap Sao movement to counter Leung's attack. Leung now makes a step forward and launches a heavy punch at Cheng. Cheng, feeling the force of Leung's punch, makes use of the force to turn his stance to pose the sidling Bong Sao. Leung changes to Guat Sao to flip down Cheng's Bong Sao and at the same time launches a straight line punch at Cheng. When Leung's punching arm glides over Cheng's Wu Sao arm, Cheng receives his force to pose the sidling Bong Sao at another direction to dissolve Leung's attack.
course Cheng can then apply the lap sal movement to counterattack Learn. But if Leung's other arm launches a fast straight line punch from the other side of Cheng's Wu Sao, it's necessary for Cheng to pose the Pak Sao to deflect Leung's punching arm. As both Leung's arms are being pressed down together, he at once changes to the Quan Sao to nullify Cheng's straight line punch. Leung immediately changes to launch double punches. Cheng's right hand moves up quickly from below to press down Leung's arm and launch a punch at Leung's chest. When Cheng is pressing down Leung's right arm, Leung immediately withdraws his left hand to apply a sideward palm to block Cheng's punch and counterattack Cheng with a man sao technique. Cheng changes to the Jum Sao and turns his stance to evade Leung's Man Sao. Cheng turns to face the front and changes to the Guat Sao and straight line punch to counterattack Leung. Leung applies the Pak Sao to deflect Cheng's punch and at the same time launches a counterattack. Cheng changes to the Bong Sao. Then Cheng turns his Bong Sao into a Fuk Sao movement. But at this moment, Leung quickly applies a Fuk Sao technique to dissolve and counter Cheng by pressing down Cheng's arm. Cheng at once adopts a sideward palm to deflect Leung's arm and launches a lower-lying palm attack at Leung. Leung adopts the Gan Sao to dissolve Cheng's attack. Cheng retreats a little and thrusts a straight line punch from Leung's punching arm below. Leung changes to the sidling Jum Sao and then to the Quat Sao to counter Cheng. Cheng can change a sidling Bong Sao to dissolve Leung's punch and then counter attacks with a Lap Sao movement again. Leung can also apply a lapsal movement once again to counterattack Cheng. We can now see that in the double arm Qi Sao exercise, many movements occur one after the other in cycles. We can only present a small cycle of movements in this one hour TV tape. More advanced Qi Sao exercises can only be offered personally by the qualified instructors of our association. The Lutsao or free hand sparring is a practice in which a trainee makes use of the movements of the Qi Sao that he's been able to master well 
to apply for real fighting. In Lutzau, a trainee controls his force, whereas in real fighting training, protective gear is worn so that full force can be used. The Bu Ji is the most advanced form of the Wing Chun system. It offers training not only in elbow techniques, steps, finger techniques, palm techniques, but also in grappling hand techniques and stances. If we say that Chum Q trains a beginner in strict defense, then the Bu Ji can be said to offer training in nullifying an attack by using a counter-attack. Therefore, it can be said that Bu Ji is a form that is dangerous and deadly. We have to emphasize that, owing to its being deadly and fatal, the Bu Ji will even endanger the trainee himself if he acquires training in it without having first grasped enough controlling skill. People have the wrong idea that Wing Chun emphasizes the use of hand techniques only. In fact, the most advanced attainment lies in footwork. Footwork, which includes the stance, steps, leg techniques and knee techniques, is therefore regarded as a secret item of training that not all the disciples of Yet Man have grasped. That is why so many incomplete and distorted theories in footwork have been presented by various students of Yet Man after his death. If a Wing Chun man can grasp the principles of footwork, he can affect short or long-range attacks, be able to get rid of different kicks, and even be able to evade the opponent's force or make use of the opponent's force. 